Hello YouTube and Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I have a very, very, very special piece that came in the mail. Uh, I love this concept and this is my favorite DC character. This is definitely Statue Hunter 75's favorite DC character, Superman. I like Batman a lot too, but Superman takes the cake for me. And This is a really special commission piece. Uh, it was commissioned by my friend Francois. Um, a lot of you people know him as Francois underscore Nor, N-O-R, on the statue forum. Uh, he's uh, got a great concept here that he had uh, done by um, Moonlight and his team in the Philippines um, were the uh, sculptors of this piece. I believe my other friend uh, Alcacel also got this from uh, Francois. And I definitely um, recommend this piece. If you are a fan of Superman, this is just a massive piece. It's like the Hulk of Superman statues. It's a must-have, definitely. It definitely, there's my hand, you can see how big it is. This definitely gets the uh, Statue Hunter seal of approval for Superman statues. I'm gonna try and show you um, his eyes are all red. I don't know if you can see it that good. I'm going to have to grab a flashlight at some point, but I want to show you what this was based off of. It was based off of Jim Lee's cover art. As you can see, we have Superman number 215. It's a variant cover, and that's where the face was. Look at the veins in the neck and the face and the his eyes all red and the mouth open. That's what it's based off of is that cover art and they replicated it perfectly uh... as you can see the veins in the neck i'm trying to get my statue to, i mean my camera here to be a little less blurry and a little more cooperative but the lighting does not seem to be working for me tonight look at the veins on the arms and the battle damage on the suit because obviously he was on the sun i love the base it's clear resin and it looks like the sun with all flames sticking up. So you can put a couple of LED lights under here and make it light up orange like the sun. I'm definitely going to have to grab my uh, flashlight to show you the details of this. Get a little better lighting. Uh, I'm going to set you down for one moment and I'll be right back. Okay, YouTube, I have my trusty flashlight, but before I get into that, I want to tell you if you're really a big fan of Superman and you want to acquire this, uh, you want to get in touch with Francois, um, you can get him through his email at, for any details on the statue, price, anything, uh, please do not contact me, contact Francois because he is the commissioner of the statue, so that's who you should deal with, so you can reach him at F-R-A-N-C-O-I-S underscore N-O-R at Yahoo dot com. Once again, that's Francois underscore Nor at Yahoo dot com. So F-R-A-N-C-O-I-S underscore N-O-R at Y-A-H-O-O dot com. All right, back to the statue. Now that I have the flashlight, let's see the the red in his tongue and the red in the eyes, the detail is just amazing. Looks really cool. I'm trying not to make it too bright. Have a tough angle to deal with here with the lighting and everything. I just wish I had better lighting. I probably should have did this in natural daylight, but I don't want my uh, neighbors seeing my statues. <laughs> As you can see on the back of the cape, you can see right through the cape. That is awesome. Where it's been damaged from battle in the sun. And there's like, you know, it actually has like burn marks. Which looks really cool. I love the S on the back. They did a great job with that. The back of the hairline, the hair actually has some blue tints in it too, which is really cool. I don't know if you can see the blue through the natural camera without the light. You probably can see it better that way. He's pretty sturdy. Um, if you saw Francois's video on YouTube, 
I think it's under Mad X Collector. Um, basically the back of the leg, this is three pieces, the base, the stem here, which looks like just a flame coming up from the sun, and it goes right into the back of his uh, calf here. So it gives the absolute effect that he's flying, and it looks amazing, as you can see from a distance. It just It's just a great piece all around. Everything, I like how they went with the big S on the shirt, almost like an Alex Ross type S, which is great. It, it, this is just like the perfect Superman for me. This is how I would want him to look in a statue. That's why I got it. So, like I said, if you are a Superman fan, I highly recommend this piece. Sorry about the lighting. I'm doing my best here to just uh, show you every end of it. Also, it's massive. It's about, I don't know, 28 inches tall, maybe 30 inches tall. I think Francois gives the exact specifications in his YouTube video as well. They're not numbered, of course, um, being that it's from the Philippines. They usually don't number the statues. Once in a great while, they do. But, there you go. It's all one piece, too, the cape. It's not separate or anything. So, um, this is definitely, uh, I would, to be honest with you, I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is my second favorite Superman statue in my collection. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm always honest in my videos and I have to say my favorite, of course, I don't have the lights on it right now, but you know, the Bowen Superman. I've reviewed him before, but there he is. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because of the angle, and I'm not going crazy to open up my uh, detoff here. So, uh, just wanted to give you a quick little peek at my favorite Superman statue, and now I have my second favorite Superman statue in my collection. I have quite a few Superman statues, so that that is saying a lot for this piece. Um, that's, that's definitely saying a lot. This is just a great piece, and uh, if you're a fan of Superman, I highly recommend you pick one up. Contact Francois with the information I gave you. Alright, YouTube, you have a great evening.